Guys, I've tried to do a gazillion different readings and every question that I ask from, uh, I, you know, I even just now asked, can I get a positive message about Princess Catherine? It just keeps coming up a separation between her and William. So we got this big old male monarch here. He just was born last night or this morning. I'm going to let him go outside, but while he's still here, I'm going to ask, is there anything William can do? Or is there anything William can do to save his marriage? Let's see what the cards say that way. Is there anything William, Prince William can do to save his marriage? Last time we got yes. Take inventory. Work hard at it. This is Seven of Pentacles. It's working hard. Also taking your time. Like, don't expect something to happen overnight. He's going to have to quit doing something. Take action. Ace of Wands. Take a new action with his wife. Where's that female? She feels, un because this female is the mother card. She's in the reverse. She misses, some, for some reason, she misses her children. Look at here, why does the king come out in awe? This could be William coming out this way. William taking inventory, trying to heal a broken heart. Yeah, he's got to take action about lies that he's told. Being brutal, you know, being harsh. He's going to have to take action. Look at that, ace of swords over, underneath ace of taking action so taking action something he lied about he she wants to quit right now but he's gonna have to take he could do it he could take his time but look at what comes up under Catherine the mother card and the queen card it's a card about children a card about the past this is memories nostalgia with the six of cups and it's coming on a reverse so it's something that's happened in the past having to do with, I think this is Catherine in this stance, showing up as a mother, the mother. Something that's happened in the past that she doesn't want to relive again. He's going to, it's work. Something that we've been told that isn't quite right. The palace has been sending us a message about the kids in her that's not quite right. It's not what it seems. Yeah, he's been, we've got this card a lot. Instead of Prince Charming, he's been acting like the opposite. I don't get why. Well, I think I do, but I don't like why. So, what he could do, I mean, yeah, he's going to have to take a time. He's going to, of course, take action. There's a chance. Let's see how he feels about it. I mean, maybe, you know, people grow apart. This isn't the end of the world. No need for us to come at each other over this in the comments, if, this, if it's the case. I hope not, but honestly... I know a lot of you don't like Prince William, but I do. When I see him with his kids and stuff, he does look genuine to me. When I see him with Princess Catherine, he does look genuine to me. Although I admit it's been a long time since I've seen him with Princess Catherine. Now we have this thing coming up, a trip that he's taking solo. I want to know, like, what, what about Sophie? Sophie's cool. Why wouldn't she go? Sophie and Edward. Anyone could have went. Why would William leave his wife and kids? How does William feel about working on his marriage? Whoa, that didn't go so good. How, did, how does Prince William feel about working on his marriage? He's got an ear to the ground there with the Page of Swords reverse. That's gossip. That's rumors. That's it's the spine card. Manipulating. Trickiness with the magician. There, some female is speaking her truth. The decision's already been made. Judgment in reverse. It's been made for him. How does he feel? See, look at one. The, remember, he had to take action. Now we're getting it in reverse. He doesn't want to take action. There's a female here that's being manipulative. I think it could be possibly be Catherine, which is hey, that's okay. If the cards have been right so far, good for Catherine.
queen of swords, some woman speaking the truth, sort of. She's not being weak here. Queen of Swords is an ice queen. She's taken no prisoners. Her sword's up. She's being honest. And there's been a change of plans for her. This is good. Catherine's standing in her truth. It's like, look, at the decision's been made for William. He'd have to take action and see he's worried about the gossip. He wants to keep his money close to, the, to himself. But what he really wants to keep to himself is he does, according to the cards here, he does with the emperor, which is the dad card, in the reverse. It's an abuse of authority. You know, he might, he might, it, it, it's looking like he does have a temper in some way. Maybe you're right about that. But either way, he's trying to keep his indiscretions buried. He doesn't want it. Remember, we just said gossip, spying, lack of action. He doesn't want it getting out of there. But there's a, a female here that might not be Catherine. She's fiery. Ay, ay, ay. Williams, the decision's already been made for William. It's showing. Remember, guys, they're human. We all make mistakes. We all go through, you know, not we all, but half of us, I think, go through divorces. And we're not talking about regular humans like you and regular people. Not that I said that wrong. Regular people like you and me. Like I've always say this. It's hard to date the captain of the football team. It's hard to date the lead singer of the band. Can you imagine how hard it is to be married to a guy that's been made to feel like he's special because of the way, you know, from, from birth. Maybe, you know, a lot of people do feel like he is special. I think everybody's special. But I don't know. You know what I mean? Just like imagine being growing. And he's done. I, I do like his gap year, you all call it. Like where, you know, he went to Chile. And then so did Catherine, right? I don't know. William seems like a good guy to me. And hey, you know, if they grew apart after all these years together, then that's what happened. I mean, most people that are together from college age on, you know, and they were like 18 or something. You know, the odds are against them. They could have just grown apart. So if if William doesn't want to be married to Catherine, you know, if, whatever. It's not uh, it's not for us to be mean to each other. It's the only rule I have. If you don't have something nice to say, then don't say anything at all, please. Okay. So. Uh, trying to get some type of good news here. William. Why is he going on this trip without Catherine? Why is William why did William decide to go on this trip rather than staying at home with his wife and kids? Why is William going on this trip? Alone. Without Catherine. Why is William going on this trip without Catherine or his kids? Why is he leaving his family behind for this trip? King of Swords reversed. He said it. He means it. He made a decision. He's being, I don't know why Prince William is always showing up in this brutal type position. Like this is like, I said it. I mean it. This is how it goes. What I say goes. Nine of, oh, nine. This is a single female there. Here's his, here's him traveling with the chariot. William, what are you doing? He's taking swift action. He's being harsh. Ten of Pentacles. That's extended family. That this is your inheritance, your traditions. Okay, let's see. You guys. I gotta stop doing these royal readings. What is he being harsh about? Something that's come to light. You know, make your own decision here if there's something he's hiding, but he's being harsh about. The son, one of these sons, you know, something being, but it's, so if it's not a kid or whatever, it's somebody, something being brought to light. Now we have the single independent female. Why is he leaving his kids behind? She is feeling like, he feels like she can do it on her own. She's okay on her own. She's got that, you know, she doesn't need him there. But it's shining a light on his harshness. That's what it's doing. 
it's it's you know no matter how much staff she has family she has it's not the same it's like he took inventory but he's and he's not satisfied and she's not satisfied he's no guys i feel like he's you know we need to watch when he's gone watch who he's with because he's doing something harsh and irrational that he's making a quick move here something he's that he's done before he's doing it again and it's not nice and he's already made the decision and he's not the only one that knows this is like you know his duties his work that's how he's that's how he's saying it decisions made we got to watch where he's going why would he leave her uh, i hate to say it but it's not for a good reason so we got to look for a female, I don't know if she's married or not, but she does. It seems like she doesn't have kids, or she, or she has kids, but they won't be with her. I don't know. It's a rich lady. I don't think it's Rose either. I'm pretty sure it's. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Where is he going? We got to look. Like who's with him? How does Catherine feel about William leaving on this trip without her? Does Catherine, what does Catherine think? Would she rather he go, would she rather he stay home? Would Catherine rather, this will say a lot here. Would Princess Catherine, Catherine, I really feel like this is her time to be with her kids alone, have that special time. Does Princess Catherine wish William would stay home? Or is she, or is she glad he's going? This princess, is she sad about, is she disappointed that her husband is leaving town without her. Is Princess Catherine disappointed? Devil in reverse. No, she feels like it's a, so far. It's uh, it's it's separating her from darkness. The decision was made for her. She's trying to heal with the Three of Swords from a heartbreak. Look, guys, it is her time to let her hair down a little. She's got friends that she's planning to meet up with. Maybe she's got a little circle of friends there. Yeah, it's a victory for her. That's good. Also, she's happy that he's going off on his own. You know, people to cheer him on. It's a victory. She likes it. She is encouraging the separation. The decision was made for her. She's on the outs. She's being, uh, she does feel abandoned and it's when she's in poor health or her health is the decision. Her health could be a big factor in why she's not going. So this guy's taking action. He's breaking apart. The decision was made for her based on her health condition. That's the perfect excuse. And that it, maybe it's not an excuse, but look at unhappy family. And she's a heartbroken over it. She's trying to get over it. I'm glad. Look at this. She's got plans. She's taking a new path with the fool. She's going to be light hearted about it. And she's going to meet up with friends while William's gone. And that's awesome. And there's going to be a victory here. Having to do with the firm. She's going to have a victory because she's going to come through with some truth. People are going to take her seriously. She's easy to get along with. She's protected still she's protected that's good this is like her way that's good so she did according to the card she didn't want him to come anyway she's got plans with friends this is her chance to get close with her family do some bonding and she's got plans with friends already what are what are we supposed to know as a as a public because they said Princess Catherine and Prince William will be seen. Something they have together coming up. I'm not sure what exactly what it is. I'll have to look it up and then ask about that. But what are Princess Catherine's plans moving forward? What are her plans moving forward? Well, she's the, coming up as the wounded warrior here. This is the Energizer Bunny, guys. She's battered and bruised. She's been through hell and back, but she's up for another challenge. She's still standing. She's
She's up for another challenge. Four of Cups, she feels a little ignored, overlooked, or she's overlooking something. We'll keep going. Look at that. Healing from heartbreak. This is good. These are the best cards we've gotten for Catherine. She's manifesting stuff, guys. She realizes she's got all the tools at her table to make whatever she wants to have happen, happen. But not working well with the team. Ay, ay, ay. What are her plans? Home life. Okay, she's still sick. She's still healing at home. What's being overlooked? Her relationship. I think she's going to try to get over it. She's like tur almost turning her back to it. Yeah. They can't. It's, I just feel like they've grown apart. But she plans on healing. What is she going to manifest? She's going to come down with some, I think Catherine's going, she's not, this is going to, I do feel like I kept getting this. I feel like this is going to end in court and it's not going to end very good for her. If Princess Catherine goes through with this divorce, which is what the cards are, have been saying, I don't think this is going to end very well for Prince William. Like the things that she'll say. Or no bueno. All right. I'm trying to think. Now, a lot of you have mentioned, I don't know her name. She's got the party planning business. Um, uh, Carol. Carol Middleton. Ha, ha, ha. I'm just getting good at this. I'm getting good at the names. Carol Middleton. What, what advice is she telling her daughter? What is Carol? I hope it's Carol. What is Catherine? What is Mrs. Middleton telling her daughter, Catherine? What, is, what advice is Mrs. Middleton, what advice is Catherine's mother giving her? Don't do anything fast. Take your time here. Be careful with your actions with the eight of wands reversed. King of Pentacles, secure the bag. This is about money. This is about what's important. This is about being secure, being protected. It's a loss. She's gonna lose a fight, she thinks. Yeah, she thinks like, you know, because the Hierophant reverse, it was a lot of times a divorce. So she's looking at it like a loss. Understandably so. My, parent, my parents did that. There's another card about loss. Losing money, losing control, losing something that's important, something that you usually hold on with, an, you know, with the most tightest fist ever. Something you, you cherish, something you won't let go of, something you're stingy about is going to start coming. You're going to lose control. You're going to lose it. She's worried about her losing assets, losing control. Use, losing the protection that she gets with the palace. Losing. Right here. Oh, look at oh, Big male. Right here is about winning. But this is taking a loss. So, hey, my parents told me the same thing before. You know, and I don't know. I mean, to be honest, I ended up, I, I ended up sticking it out. Because they told me, you know, things are, things get better. And... You know, divorce is wrong. They just went the hardcore Catholic way, which I was honestly surprised about because not like, you know, they're not like holy rollers. So, okay, telling her to be sneaky and manipulative when it comes to blocking out communication. Don't take a move. Be calculated. She's telling her daughter to be calculated with her next moves. Be calculated with what she says, what she says to William, the messages she puts out, the picture she puts out. This is social media. It's a quick action. Don't act fast. Be calculated. Yeah, definitely secure the bag, especially if you were supposed to be queen and now you're not going to be queen. Look at you all. I can't make this up. The loss is the separation of the two. That sucks. She's trying to see. She. It's a loss to, for you guys to separate after all this time. With the temperance card and the hierophant, can't you work it out? You know, I know that, you know, can't you guys 
you you're a perfect match this is a perfect combination look at all the time you spent together are you sure can you work it out she's thinking like this could be a loss that you can't ignore you could lose something here you can't ignore but she's telling her to be calculated hmm but definitely of you know advising against a separation or divorce wow all right what about now i think in my at least in my case my brother is the one to give the best advice so what about what's pippa telling princess catherine what's pippa's advice to princess catherine right now Ooh, somebody got caught. This is our shyster, our trickster, doing something deceitful and underhanded. This is getting caught with your mask slipping and your pants on the ground. Somebody got caught doing something wrong. The court card, this is about getting even. Justice, take matters into your own hands. Get even, yeah. See, Pippa is seeing this as a huge betrayal. Ten swords in the back, awful. Knight of Cups. An offer of friendship, love, compassion, and to calm down the fighting. She wants things to be calm around Catherine. Pippa. That's what Pippa's telling her. So somebody got caught. She's looking at this as a betrayal of her sister. She's looking at this like William should have been protecting her sister, and he did it. Also, the butting heads, a collision. So, yeah, you know, it's got to be this, this guy. It's kind of his way or no way. We can't fault him for that too much. That goes with how he was raised, says the big male, just letting us know. Okay, Pippa's seeing this as a betrayal. He's like, I'm out of here. And look it, she wants Catherine to get out of these restrictions. Un, you know, untie the chains that bind you because you've been betrayed. She's offering here. Or there's a male that's offering, it could be even her dad. There's a male here that's offering Princess Catherine a shoulder to cry on. This guy, that's exactly, he's a, he's a soft place to land. He's like almost counselor vibes, but it's a friend. Someone she cares about, it could even be her dad. And he's coming in to save her the day, Prince Charming, but not in a lovey way. You know what I mean? Coming in to save the day. She wants Catherine. She's kind of telling Catherine, even if it's not her dad, or I don't know if they have a brother. But she's telling, look, at, he don't like it. She's telling Catherine that there's people that love her. Lean on, her, you know, focus on the people that love you. Look at all these people that love you, that care about you, that are here to help you. She doesn't want there to be conflict. Whoa, look at him. He's like majestic. The biggest one I've ever seen. She doesn't want there to be conflict in Catherine's life. She wants it to be smooth. You know, Catherine, she shouldn't have to deal with conflict. Strength. This is about grace, quiet, peace, peace and quiet. That will make Catherine strong. Also, to lean on this guy, whether it's a dad, brother, friend, counselor. And here she is, standing in all of her glory, the mother card, the supreme mother card. But she's stuck. Right now, she's stuck in a, in a crappy situation because of her health situation, because of her situation. But her sister's telling her enough is enough. And, to, you know, somebody got caught for the last time. They're not protecting you. They are just about themselves. Get out of your situation. You know, he's put a knife in your back one too many times. There'll be other guys. You have, you know, men in your life that you can depend on right now. That'll make you strong. That's what Sister Pippa's telling Catherine, according to the cards. What will Princess Catherine, what are her plans when William's out of town? King's going to be busy. William's out of town. What are Catherine's plans while William is on that trip alone? Princess Catherine, what is she planning on? You watch, you listening? What is Princess Catherine planning on? Well, William's out of town. Will we see her? What's she planning on doing? 
Princess Catherine's plans while William's out of town. So last time we got, she was gonna like meet up with friends, get together. Oh, they're having friction. There are definitely disagreements about what she's gonna do when he's out of town. There's that magician card. She's about to make something happen. Ace of Cups, great card to get. Al Green card, love and happiness. She's gonna enjoy herself. She's gonna be surrounded by love, happiness, maybe even a new love for, eh, I don't know. But there's been a change of plans here and the two of wands reversed is also representing the separation of two energies, William and Catherine in this case. See, she's, okay, Queen of Swords reversed, let's see. They're fighting. They're fighting over how things are changing. You know, changing ain't easy for any of us. And it's causing friction. It's causing conflict. There's that. The death card represents our monarch here. You know, you got to keep thinking. He was like liquid a couple days ago inside of a green cocoon. And now here he is. Beautiful. But, you know, it doesn't come, change doesn't come easily. Shit, change, like the, change is the hardest thing I've had to deal with. Change is rough. And making big changes in your life, monumental changes, transformations, it's going to come with conflict. What is she planning on doing? Working through it, figuring it out, because here comes the magician. Oh, you don't like that. Here comes the magician. So he's got, she's realizing she's got it. I got this. I can make anything I want to have happen, happen. She's tired of these same conflicts that keep coming up over and over and over again. So she's about to make a move here out of love. What she's going to do while William's gone will be done from a place of love. There will be secrets coming out. So watch for the leaks. Secrets coming out. But she's going to do it out of love, out of love for her kids, out of love for herself. But stuff. there's going to be fighting. Big changes are going to go on while William's gone and ending. Maybe we'll, they'll announce uh, some type of a separation between the two. There's a woman. There's a woman from his, his past. I don't know. This could even just be her. You know what? We asked about Catherine's plans. This ain't a woman from his past. This is Princess Catherine. Being cold. I won't put up with this stuff. These memories that we have, the things that, how it used to go down. I'm not taking that anymore. I'm not going to revisit those past memories. This is her standing on her own two feet, putting her foot down and being harsh. And it goes, it it's book ended by this fighting she's being harsh she wants a chain look it she's being harsh there's a conflict while william's gone she wants a change from how things used to be she doesn't want things to be that the way they used to be so we got to keep our eyes open we got a lot to watch here watch prince william like a hawk i will at least i'll be watching at least while he's gone and i'm gonna keep I'm gonna, I mean, I don't know. It's hard because the palace seems to control everything that goes out. And I mean, where can we get real news these days? Who knows? But thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. Please hit the like button. Every, everybody that does that is helps me so much. Like I said, just be nice to each other. Be nice to me. If you don't have anything nice to say, then don't say anything at all. And I really will. I appreciate that more than anything. And hopefully over time, you know, we don't have to be royalists. We don't have to be um, totally, you know, I don't think that you have to pick a side between Harry and Meghan. I think that's, why are we so divisive? These, we don't know these people. Let's just be friends and, and gossip and chat with each other about public figures. I think that's fair. And, I, and I'm trying to be as fair as I can. I've made a promise. So I'll catch you all in the comments. Bye. Thanks for watching.